Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to streamline your Blender workflow, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into an incredible, clever and powerful set of tools called this to that suit. This isn't just one tool, it's a central hub for all library of modules that you can turn on and off as you need them. Let's get it installed and see what it can do. Installation is a little different from older add-ons, but it's simple. Download this zip file, then in Blender go to Edit, Preferences and click on the Get Extensions tab. Click Install from Disk. Find the disk to that zip file and install it. Then just switch over to Add-ons tab, find this to that suit manager in the list to enable it. The magic of this to that is its two-step management. In the Add-on Preferences you enable the modules you want, then in the 3D viewport side panel, the one you open with the N key, you'll find the new this to that tab. Here you can show or hide the panels for your enabled tools, keeping your workspace perfectly clean. Now let's check out the modules, starting with the free to use modules, which are available for everyone. First up, location to curve. This tool is fantastic for creating paths. You can either select a bunch of static objects, click create from selected and it will generate a curve connecting them. Or you can select a single animated object, click create slash update keyframe curve and it will create a perfect motion path from its keyframes. It even has a live edit mode. Next is material to selection, a huge time saver for materials. In object mode, you can select several objects and instantly transfer the material from your active object to all the others. In edit mode, you can do the same thing with faces. Plus, it gives you a library of every material in your scene with a preview, so you can just click apply to assign it. The last free to use module is object to view. This is for perfectly framing objects. Select an object and with one click it places it right in the center of your view or camera. You can control the distance or even snap the object directly onto a surface in your scene and align it to that surface normal. Alright, those free to use tools are already incredibly useful. But for those who want to unlock full potential and support the developer, there are modules categorized as support to develop. These are more advanced tools for specialized workflows. The first one is Camera to View Pro. This is a camera management system. Frame a shot in your viewport, click create camera from view and it instantly creates new camera, sets it as active and locks it to your view so you can start refining the shot. You can cycle between all your shots, jump between keyframes and even set a unique custom render resolution for each individual camera. Next we have Ops to Macro, an amazing automation tool. Just click start recording perform a series of repetitive actions like insetting, bridging or adding a modifier and then click stop and save. Now you can run that entire sequence again with a single click from your saved macro library. You can even export your macros to share with others or to use on another computer. This one is a great assistant for storyboarding. Overlay to camera. It lets you add overlay objects that are linked to a specific camera. You can add an image plane or even a custom 3D object. Any object from your scene. Because it's parented to the camera, the overlay moves and rotates perfectly with your camera, making it ideal for creating shot specific composition guides. The next one in the list is Overlay to View. This might sound similar, but it's different. These overlays are 2D images or placeholders that are locked to your viewport, not to the 3D camera. This is perfect for using the reference image or storyboard panel that stays fixed on your screen no matter how you orbit or pan around your scene. We'll end this lineup with Preset to Camera. Bring the characteristic of real-world camera lenses directly into your workflow. Stop guessing with focal lengths and instantly apply the look of famous photography and cinema lenses. There's a massive preset library. Instantly apply settings from real-world lenses sorted by use case and brand. It even has an integrated depth of field control. Presets automatically enable depth of field. Fine-tune the effect with the focus object or manually set the distance. You can also customize bokeh effects from this panel. Control the look of your autofocus blur by changing the aperture blades, rotation and ratio. That's all for now. If you have any questions, please join our Discord server or just visit the product page where you will find a lot of useful information. Cheers!